Hey guys, it's Ink Eater, and um, tonight I wanted to talk about fictional bands. I think every single one of us, whether we care to realize it or not, has seen some kind of movie, TV show, or seen a commercial where they've been introduced to this band, this group, that looked really cool, either played music, didn't play music, and you heard them and you're like, man, why can't this be a real thing? I'm seeing things that aren't real. I'm seeing things I shouldn't see. Dreaming things I've never seen. You're beginning to think in images, concrete images. Hot, cold, light, dark, food, hunger, pain. Um, me, Zombie, and Ink Drop were recently talking about this in the sense of, um, you know, I was talking about Hedwig and the Angry Inch and how it's an awesome Broadway play, but at the same time, they had awesome freaking music and how much I really, really wished that they were an actual real band if that makes any sense. And then that's when Zombie was like, yeah, what about the Spice Girls in me? And Ink Drop had to try to kind of explain to Zombie that the Spice Girls were really a band and it wasn't just a movie. And he he didn't take that too well. Hey! You know he's Spice Girls this, Spice Girls that. Somebody speaks up. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Zombie. They're not together anymore. Ah. Uh, anyway, so kind of got me thinking, you know, about Scott Pilgrim versus and uh, Beyond Hedwig and the Angry Inch, thinking about uh, Back to the Future and a few other movies um, that I can think of um, that actually had bands in them. And I'm like, man, wouldn't it be cool if that was a real band? Or they played a song only to come to find that that was just a fake band that posed as the band, but the real band was some chick or some dude that does not match, does not complete. Um, anyway, um, I always hated that when that happened. They did that a lot in the 90s when it came to a lot of 90s movies. Um, specifically, I can't think of the name of the movie. I believe it was called She or Her. It might not have been that because I think that that's that movie by What's His Face featuring Joaquin Phoenix. I may be wrong. Um, <laughs> if I can think of the title of the movie, I will leave it here. But I think it was Green, or maybe that was the name of the band. It was a very, very big name. And it was one of those situations where I was like, yeah, this band totally does not exist. Um, but it's kind of interesting how there's this world of fictional bands that don't exist and never really did exist. I mean, if you think about the Disney Channel, dang, that's a lot of freaking bands. I think just about every TV show had a band or had some version of a band. Or maybe I'm wrong. Anyway... Hope you guys are doing awesome. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what is a fictional band that you really wish existed. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about the Goofy movie and the band that Goofy's son, Maximilian, and I can't think of what his buddy's friend's name is, Polly. I know it was played by Polly Shore. I have a love-hate relationship with him. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Um, let me know down in the comments below what is your fictional band that you wish really existed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And yeah, bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Seeing things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. Sadly, you can't take anything for granted.